Hi everyone, Trent from Precision Mining here. This video is designed to demonstrate the use of proximity constraints, which can control the number of equipment that are in any area of your mine at any one particular point in time in your schedule. To create your first proximity constraint, right click, choose Add, New Proximity Constraint. You can control your equipment based on source, destination, or both source and destination. Uh, for this example that we have on the right, where we have excavators sharing the same leaf, we're actually just going to use source. We're going to leave the source range as all, and we're going to leave processes as all, equipment as all, uh, but you can control the, the, the effect this proximity constraint has by using these filters. We're going to leave the grouping expression for the moment, and just know that by leaving it blank, it essentially says for each and every leaf uh, in, your, in your table that it's going to apply to. And the value expression and maximum expression. So the value expression relates to the weight that each piece of equipment is given. The default is one, which means each equipment is worth one. You can create something along the lines of, you know, if equipment, so it's a variable, if equipment is excavator one, then it's worth two, otherwise it's worth one. Uh, you can have various different sizes of equipment. We're going to leave each piece of equipment worth one for this basic example. And the maximum expression is, is similar. You can say maybe for if, if it's a certain strip that it's got a larger maximum expression because it's got more room to use, but then when the strips uh, shorten up a bit, then you can, you can set the, the expression to be a little bit less. But by default, that's enough to essentially prevent my excavators from sharing one leaf, uh, more than one leaf. So we're sharing a leaf. So if you see this now, you can see that they're actually moving between two different ones. Now, grouping expression is is uh, allows you to add a little bit more complexity to this. So what we're just saying by default is just at that at that strip level. But if we wanted to say that only one piece of equipment per strip, what we can can use is we can group our stri our strips. So grouping expressions are also used in sequence dependencies and table plots. So if you've used them before, this should be pretty uh, pretty simple. But essentially what you're going to use is the text function. And you're going to apply that to the variable, which is your uh, source strip. So you're going to say group, all, group my strip together. So what you're really saying here is for each strip, I can have maximum of one value. So if we rerun this now, what you'll find is now we no longer have excavators sharing the same strip. You can see this one's on strip uh, strip 5 and the other's on strip 6, etc. So they're no longer sharing the same strip. Uh, you can also then use distance limiting, which is centroid based. If you're going to use distance limiting, you need to make sure that you have centroids uh, set for each process that, are, is, that is involved in the, con uh, in the constraint. So to have a centroid, uh, it's a point 3D type field. So you want to go to Setup Fields. If you don't have one already, create a point 3D type. If you don't have centroids, once again, you can use the centroid calculator. Right-click your table, choose the centroid calculator. Uh, each of these will have a, a different value that you can apply to it. Uh, and then once you've done that, go to your processes and make sure that you have set a centroid field for each process that you want it to apply to. And that way you can have a distance-based centroid, such as you know, no, nothing within 150 meters of this piece of equipment. That then also, just to bear in mind, uses the priority system as well. So if you have uh, equipment that has different priority, then the uh, distance constraint, the proximity distance constraint, will preference the higher priority excavator for the block that it wants to be on. Uh, beyond that, that's the the simple use of proximity constraints. If you have anything that's not covered in this, or you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call, shoot us an email, or visit the website. Other than that, thanks for your attention and have a good day.